Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill and what do we have there fellas, what do we have? Uh, first of all, a happy Friday, happy weekend for every single of you. I know this video is released in a quite weird, a weird schedule way and this is the second video of the day. I know but this is when embargo is getting lifted and that's when we can release the video. So here you go, extra bonus video, ISU 152 key. And you might think, what the flying F? Don't we have ISU? Absolutely, yes, we do. And uh, yeah, ISU, ISU. Now, the main difference right here, fellas, this is the gun on, uh, on the old ISU or the currently which we had in the game. And this is the gun which uh, have some kind of history. Uh, it's BL-10 or however it's called, right? Um... What that pretty much means, fellas, ISU had this gun itself and it was super duper hyper turbo powerful thing, okay? It was extremely powerful thing. But what can I say? Looks like Wargaming realized that and they removed that. But they found their own way to release this tank into the game or release this gun into the game, right? Uh, with a premium tank. Here you go. Now, jokes aside, what everything, how everything is looking like right here. Skill, move your ugly face. Hiya, Captain. Okay, look. What kind of situation do we have right here? Uh, everything, um, both of those vehicles have this the same equipment right there, the same crew skills and everything. Um, most important information, right? Uh, I also have better DPM. This tank have um, tiny touch less gun depression and uh, less gun traverse speed. Uh, but it's not a big uh, deal in my opinion. Um, obviously, ISU is more accurate, but this premium version still is. I mean, it's Russian tank. Who cares about the numbers if you are hitting hard like a truck of dildos? It doesn't matter, right? Uh, next things. Uh, this ISU should be way slower. Top speed and uh, horsepower to weight ratio or however you are calling. And you have like 100 less horsepower engine. That's how everything is looking like. Although traverse speed, you can and third tiny touch faster but you know once again you have less horsepowers so yeah uh, pretty much they are very very similar vehicles and you know what we are going to do now fellas we are going to go into the battle and we are going to test this vehicle out and in fact today from the 10 uh, PM or whenever this video is going to be released and right? I need to check when our embargo is changing if you want to see this tank in action come to the Come to my stream, link is going to be under the description and we will try to make this vehicle work. We will try to power grind to the mark of excellence. This is going to be priority and Renee is going to be secondary. This is information for you. So if you are looking for that kind of content, you are going to get it there. Um, and fellas, yeah, it's about the time to go and play a couple of battles. I believe two battles is going to be more than enough because once again, um, how I assume you are playing with this vehicle, you are sniping from the back whenever uh, you are seeing your team is winning, you are going in front and you are banging remaining um, forces without even asking their names. That's how the things is looking like over there, my lovely friends. Okay, camera is in the right position. Beautiful. We can go, fellas. Let's see. Uh, so the first things first. What do I want to do? I would love to... I would love to punish someone which is um, probably crossing like this. So more likely I'm going to go Piri Piri over there if we will have a scout which is spotting. Also one more thing fellas. Um, I don't know exactly when this vehicle is going to be on sale in the EO server. Okay, I know for a fact it's not on sale yet. Uh, but eventually it's going to be on sale. Do I recommend buying it? I mean if you are a ISU fan um, and you love the ISU and it's your favorite vehicle you can play with it non-stop uh, maybe then the tank is for you other than that I don't know uh, for example this tank is not my cup of tea and uh, um, I don't really I don't really think it is uh, it is my vehicle if you know what I mean holy shit fellas it's so damn nice to see you in the battlefield uh, um, everyone is raising their guns and everyone is having extremely good time holy shit okay now, fellas, let's get serious and let's punish someone who is playing over there because they should have someone which is trying to cross through the middle of the field. What do you think? Um, because there is quite some heavy tanks, for example, IS-3 or something else, right? Patience, 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 mine. 
But skill accuracy is 0.36. It's Ruski tank. You are hitting like a truck of. I told you what, right? Before. I told you what before, my lovely friends. So here you go. Oh, Dede Fede. Dede Fede. Come on, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. I can't hit him. That's quite unfortunate. But maybe we could hit the scorpion over there apparently. No, we can't. Mm, I'm trying to figure out what I supposed to do right there, boys. Dede Fede. Mine, 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 mine. Aim, 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 aim. Wait, wait, wait. We have all time in the world of tanks. There is no way to rush. Lynx is going super aggressively like this. Actually, there is a Progetto. Progetto. Mine, 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 mine. Russia. That was so close. So close. But it's okay. Let it be. I'm just accepting that. With this vehicle, you will need to be extremely patient, my lovely friends. And it's not a joke. You will need to be extremely patient. It's just how this vehicle goes, right? Um, speaking about the gameplay ISU or this one, it's... Actually, this is the same ISU. It's literally the same thing. Although gun depression, once again, is one degree slower. And um, what gun degrees, what one de um, degrees of the gun depression means, right? Uh, we can compare T62A against the 140. That's how we can. Um, that's how we can compare the things. By the way, speaking about the armor, I mean ISU can bounce one or two shots from the lower tier vehicles but you cannot rely on uh, um, you cannot rely on that armor for obvious reasons right by the way what i am thinking about doing now since we do not have the ice in front um, i am kind of thinking about relocating to this position over there what is the worst thing for us in in this battle my lovely friends you see the elc even he can be in the middle if the ELC even is in the middle, then it's no bueno, my lovely friends. Then that pretty much means he can outspot us. But once again, we have a lot of, a lot of, a lot of time left. And all we need to do, we need to be patient. Okay, what do we want to do with this vehicle? How about blind shotting Scorpion? Do I want to shoot here or here? I think I'm going for a blind shot. I don't, I don't want to go for a blind shot. I want to go for test 5. Skill, the light is spotted, I know. I know, I'm very, very well aware of that. But, you know, when I see the TS-5 side, I mean, how not to punish TS-5? Speaking about the good things... Um, Time to blind fire. How about the Scorpion G? What do you think? In which side he is? Left or right? All right. Nowhere. He is nowhere. Okay. Good. Let's try to reload the APs once again. And what do we want to do? We want to start making a pressure like this. As you can see, TS5 is going to die because he is... Because he is... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> how are you supposed to make a YouTube video? Boys, how are you supposed to make a YouTube video right here? Tell me. Holy shit. That was a good one. Fellas, that was a good one. Okay, let's try to escape right here. IS3 is looking at us, but I literally don't give a single damn about it. And what we want to do, we want to eliminate him from the game. He should be dead now. Beautiful. I know, I know, I lost quite some hit points right here. Progetto clipped me, but it's completely fine. That giggle was worth it. <laughs> if you are wondering how you are, uh, how you are uh, using your, um, how you are uh, making your horn to work, uh, press key, fellas, and life is going to be beautiful. Anyways, what do we want to do now? Um, we want to simply go in front and get as much use as we can. Obviously, this is not epic performance, 1.8 thousand damage, 500 assisting damage, to be exact, tracking damage. Um, fellas, some games are working extremely well and some games isn't. But fun is a very, very important thing, okay? And I can tell you that in this battle I was smiling and my cheeks is, uh, is hurting already. Beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Okay, can we smack this Progetto in the face? This is the question, fellas. Can we smack this Progetto in the face? Progetto is trying to run. 
if he will try to cross like this, which is which is very very possible, we are going to smack him. Ah, apparently he is not going to go like this. Okay, how about this pilot then? How about this pilot? Wait for it. 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 And now. Unfortunately, we did not manage to penetrate him and that was just pure uh, pure luck for this guy. I mean, 286 millimeter of penetration, that's a humongous penetration, fellas. But, you know, sometimes luck is treating you like a, a lucky biscuit and sometimes um, not so much. It's okay. Those games will happen. And this is... And this is World of Tanks, fellas. Uh, what was the worst thing for us, my lovely friends? Our team won this battle way too quickly and way too easily. That was probably the main problem in this situation. By the way, that was bad. Uh, that was bad, my same from this side. And look at the ISU. You flexing, mother trucker. Stop flexing. Stop flexing, you little mother trucker. <laughs> <laughs> this battle crazy. Anyways, the first pancake is usually uh, burning, okay? Not much what we can change about this. Um, and I am feeling completely fine with that. You know, sometimes you are winning, sometimes you are losing, doesn't matter. It is how it is. First battle, as you can see, 1.8 thousand damage, 500 assisting damage. Not the best score ever, but once again, I, I deserved what I got. Even with this kind of performance, we made 41,000 profit because that was uh, 50,000 for a mission, which is daily mission. You can get it when you are having a premium account, right? If I'm not mistaken. So yeah, anyways, let's keep going with this vehicle, fellas. First pancake, burn it. Let's hope for a second pancake to be so much better. And what do we have here? We have Empire Border. Mm. Definitely not the map which I was dreaming today, but okay, let's try to make this vehicle work here. And what is our options? What is our options, boys? How I Im imagine this battle? Two uh, possibilities to play the game. Option number one is to go into the middle and to try to shoot somewhere over there or cross like this. Option number two is to take this position over there and try to shit on someone which is playing around this area. Um, I think I will take the option number one just because of the flexibility and because of the things, right? It's important, fellas. So let's try to get some use of all this. Um, whenever I will get like 3000 damage with this vehicle, I'm going to be extremely, extremely happy. It's pretty much four shots, but once again, um, remember fellas, you are going to have the situations when uh, everyone is going to have situations when you are simply winning way too quickly, right? <laughs> <laughs> Fellas, I know, I know, I, I run away from the kid and garden, okay? What can I say? <laughs> Anyways, what do we want to do? We want to take this position over there and hopefully we can, we can smack the um, LTTB and we can punish him for his stupidity if he is going to make one, right? Hopefully. So wait for it, fellas. Wait for it, I will need to react very quickly because this guy is going up, at least that's what I want to believe. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Ooh, beautiful reaction, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful reaction. So we smack at him uh, for pretty much 600 in the face, which is a low roll, but once again, I mean, he is pretty much, he is barely alive, so even low roll is good. That really wasn't what I was looking for, but it's okay. No complaints, no regrets. How about if we are going to pre-aim right here? Because I assume enemies should make a pressure like this eventually. What we need to do, we need to ask this guy to go back pretty much. Because if he is not going to go back, I cannot help him. And this is a big fat problem, my lovely friends. Wait for it, wait for it. Wait for it, wait for it now. 
beautiful. Six hundred fifty in the face, not a big deal. They shouldn't spot me over there, so I'm feeling quite happy. After seven seconds, we are going to eliminate this guy from the game. Whenever we are going to eliminate this guy from the game, actually, not really. My plan is not going to work like this. This guy is over there, Shna in the face, 790, that's very very good. And now you know what is my biggest threat if this LTTB is going to go for me and apparently he is thinking about that. But you know what, LTTB is LTTB, I still need to eliminate this Lance and see from over there. Let's see, Lance is in the open field and, until L and LTTB is in my ass. So now we have only one option and the only one option is to go like this and to try to shit on him. Okay, uh, once again fellas, this is the world of tanks, what did you expect it? Um, in the first battle... Um, we had a situation when our team was winning battle and even I assume you are not playing in front. In the second battle, we had a different and opposite uh, situation. When enemy team is just simply rolling over our team and uh, the end game story is simple. We are losing the battle 3 to 9. Um, welcome into the world of tanks, okay? Maybe the third battle is going to be uh, just tiny touch better at least that's what i want to believe and that's what i want to hope for um speaking about our play what we could have done here like i said we had a secondary option over there which would be to um play around this area together with udes right so maybe then we could get some kind of use of all this although it's very very debatable and uh, you know once again, it is extremely debatable situation, fellas, because there is a big chance uh, we wouldn't get um, enough use over there, right? Because um, maybe I would get outspotted by here and those guys would simply bang me or Arta would bang me or something, right? It would not be um, a change of the game by any means. Um, unfortunately, fellas, at least in the O server, uh, it's happening extremely, extremely, extremely often when your team uh, or when enemy team is just simply getting this destroyed right uh, this is world of tanks in 2020 fellas welcome in 2020 games are extremely extremely quick um, and games are not the most equal ones but it is how it is anyways this is a defeat and i said i'm going to play for two battles but you know what i'm going to play for a third game also fellas uh very very soon probably on monday i assume you can expect to see high damage games with this isu because once again i'm going to mark it very very quickly um i won't wait for 17 years to deal with it uh, in a way you know it is kind of a meme tank because of the high alpha damage and you can see some armor acts with it some critical hits and everything so i believe the best thing for us is going to be to um mark it as soon as possible and then uh, fellas you will see the best battles with this vehicle does it sound good fellas does it sound good i hope it does okay so here we go speaking about the damage we are top um with this kind of team right it just happens speaking about experience we are top four but once again it is how it is it's just how it is looking like and speaking about this kind of mm, game we managed to make forty-five thousand profits obviously you don't need to spam gold with this vehicle it's just simply unnecessary and uh, yeah i have a couple just in case for uh, like very very tough targets but overall you don't need that anyways the last battle uh, of the review with this vehicle fellas the last game can we have a bloody amazing game please can we bang someone without asking their name this is the question and this is not the battle which we want to see boys and girls to be fair with you to be fair with you this is not the battle which we want to see Hmm. The thing is, I do not have a turret. So going into this position, it's not really why uh, it's not very good idea for me. What I could do, I could knock this tree over there, and I could play around this area. Going on the field, I don't really want to do that. 
plus on top of that pay attention at this top of the enemy team um, it's going it's not going to be very very good right I mean they have extremely heavy setup over there so let's try to go into the city and let's try to get as much use as we possibly can right hopefully it will work well by the way, looks like our light tanks is um, getting banged here, or maybe enemy LTTB is getting banged here. I don't even know what the flying F is uh, is happening. Anyways, no complaints, no regrets. As you can see, this uh, this tree is knocked the uh, out over there, which is very very good thing. But what we want to do more, fellas, I want to kind of go a bit more in front like this, and I want to knock this tree. Okay, and now we want to go back. We have all time in the world of tanks. Whoops. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I did not mean to touch you. Don't be offended. Okay. Beautiful. So, what do we want to do now? Now, boys and girls, we want to wait until this Vaka will think he is semi-safe. Whenever he is going to peek like this, we are going to smack him so hard, he is going to forget his name. Okay? Ready for it? Wait for it. Wait for it. Schnein. That was a decent pick. By the way, with this vehicle, you are not picking like this. You are trying to side scrap. But it would not change too much situation for him because he would take one for the team anyways. And as you can see, this double bush is kind of uh, uh, countering this position over there in a way, right? What we want to see from our team right now, I would love to see them to go back, right? That would be extremely, extremely, extremely good performance for us because then we could schnei into this into those uh, heavy tank faces without even asking their name but to be fair with you looks like our team is simply not going to perform too well over there oh well what can we do what what uh, i am thinking now pay attention what is happening in this area over there we lost the field right uh, once again fellas 15 to 1 remember my words or uh, 15 to 5 um what is happening here enemies are already making a pressure like this it's a matter of the time so what I want to do I want to get myself into this position over there and I am simply waiting until the light will get spotted a lucky 1945 is not so lucky apparently uh, if he had some kind of accident in a way right there and you know boom a hashtag never lucky actually you know what our team is winning this battle apparently good good very very good okay how about this was a you know what, I don't really mind Vaza, but what I mind, I mind this Fava over there. So what is going to happen now? He is going to die in approximately 9 seconds. After that, we are going to load high explosives and we are going to kill this, um, this Vaza. Okay, this is the plan. So let's deal with this. And kaboom. This guy is dead, hip hip hooray. Now what we are waiting, we are waiting until this light tank is going to uh, go here. And as you can see, light tank is there, Art is already prepared for the for that poor light tank and he is in the deep shithole right there. You don't believe in me? Wait a bit. He is going to go over there very very soon and we are going to smack him right there into this pixel. Beautiful. He's down to 37 hit points. Not a big deal. We are feeling completely fine. And four guys are spotted over there and one guy which is not spotted and that guy is a bloody IS-3 which was in platoon with Fava. What that pretty much means, this IS-3 is supposed to be here on the field, right? Uh, but let's try to find him and let's try to murder him. In the same time, I assume this mother trucker he's supposed to snipe over there because he probably had the shots into the middle very, very easily, right? This is obviously only prediction. And IS-3 is definitely not the tank which uh, I would love to meet in the middle of the field, but... Probably this is only one bet which I currently have. Fellas, this is only one bet which I currently have. And if we are going to deal with this um, with this IS-3, right, it's going to be a bloody full battle. We will sit on 3.7 thousand, which is already quite good in my opinion, speaking about this tank, right? Okay, let's see. We are the bloody F 
is the Mr. IS3, which never ever was spotted. Is he sitting somewhere around this area? Apparently not. What we are going to do, we are going to wait until the Binus will be activated. Binus is activated and we are out spotting Arta. Arta is taking one for the team right here, that's what we need and poor IS3. So now let's check the accuracy of this vehicle, right? IS3 is AFK or maybe he's, uh, he's disconnected, I don't even know. AFK is AFK and we are getting our end game reward over there. The IS3 which is uh, saying skill, you deserve it to kill me and I'm saying with a pleasure. Here we go. 4,000 damage. The third battle was fine, but once again, it was close game and in my opinion, we did everything pretty much properly, apart that missed shot into the, um, into the fava. But other than that, everything was mwah, solid, solid, solid game, right? So we managed to get four grand hip hip hooray. Soon, fellas, on the Monday, more likely, you are going to see the best battles with this vehicle. As you can see, we have Ace Wanker, although probably it doesn't mean too much because not many vehicle, not many people have this vehicle. 1.2 base experience, 4,000 damage, and 97,000 profits. So once again, fellas, whenever this video is going to be released, if you want to see more action um, with ISU, you want to see how marking tank is looking like uh, and progression to the marking uh, tanks and everything um, you are going to see that in the twitch in my channel feel free to visit me feel free to say hi and feel free to say skill you need to visit the barber store although Although, fellas, I, I truly like my hair, okay? For a very first time in my life, I'm feeling like a duck ass Thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed your daily dose of skill, the second daily dose of skill, and this is ISU in action. Is it worth it? You will be the judge. Um, starts, um, starts of this session when we play this 2.6 thousand damage and 100 assisting damage, but you know, sometimes you are winning, sometimes you are losing. Overall, uh, I am happy with this session. I had a good giggle and I hope you too. Okay, see you next time, fellas. It, it is your daily dose of skill and peace.